Hey there, you filthy animals. Mr. Dirty back with another episode of the GTM Show. And today, we've got Blake's frozen food back on the show again. Uh, we've seen Blake's on the show before in the past, but they're made from scratch since 1929. Uh, this time around, we're going to be checking out something that uh, I've had before, but I thought it was good enough to actually bring out and uh, show everybody. This is going to be Blake Shepherd's Pie. So there's the package you're looking for. If you're looking for this in stores, take all that in. Uh, yeah. Like I say, I have had this before, and we'll get back to that later on. But let's check this out first. Uh, they're telling us it's made with all-natural ground beef, corn, and mashed potatoes. So even though inside this box is something, and you can even see here, it's like it's a single-serve type deal, that it looks like a pot pie. And the first time that I had this, I was had pot pie on the brain. So I threw this in the oven. And there are conventional oven instructions are preheat the oven to 375 and you cook for 40 minutes. Um, so I did all that because I was thinking oh, it's a pot pie. And the proper thing to do with a pot pie would be to bake it in the oven afterwards. After I took it out and I like started to consume it, I realized this is fucking mashed potatoes. What am I doing? I could have microwaved this and got the exact same thing all along. So this time around, that's what we're going to do. We're going to be microwaving this, and our microwave instructions have us just uh, removing it from the box, place on a microwave-safe plate, cut a one-inch slit in the center of the film, not the actual mashed potato topping that's on there, cook on high for four to five minutes, which is way better than 40 minutes, and having to preheat the oven to 375 and suck up all that electricity. And then you check, make sure it's hot, and then, you know, eat up. And take once again, take a look at the picture on the cover there. And you see that is pretty much spot on as what you get for a finished product. I shit you not. Let's bust this open and take a look at the frozen product before we go sticking it in the microwave. And yeah, see there's the film on top. We're supposed to cut a little slit in that. And you really can't see anything. Even if you could see through this, you'd be staring right at mashed potatoes. Or it's like, you know, it would look like this anyhow. And then you see it's got like the exact same kind of pot pie tray going on that you see with most frozen food pot pies. And before we go microwaving it up, uh, just looking at the back here, you know, they're trying to tell us that this stuff is made with no antibiotics, zero grams trans fat, no artificial flavors, fed no animal byproducts, and that has stars next to it, no artificial colors, and no preservatives. And then they're saying made just for you, love grandma. All right, let me go nuke this up. We'll come back and we'll uh, take a look at our Blake Shepherd's pie. Stick around. All right, guys, we're back. We've got our Blake Shepherd's pie out of the microwave, where we let it go the entire five minutes, and then we did let it stand for one minute. All right, so there it is without the film on it. You get a better look there of your corn and your a little bit of the beef poking through, um, and a mashed potatoes. You can see there's a lot of everything going on. There's also like a little bit of a seasoning or a pepper or something on the top there. The only difference I would say between this and the oven version is maybe a little browning around the edges. That's about it. This looks exactly like what I got out of the oven. While it's cooking, you can really smell the mashed potatoes. They're like buttery um, as it's cooking in the microwave. That's the smell that's going to fill your house or kitchen, whatever. And I just want to uh, cut this open and throw this aside so I can show you like a cross section like they did on the box. Okay? So remember, there's the box and there's ours. So you can see what I was talking about. It's pretty much spot on. You got like all that corn. You see how much beef is in there? I would say that the mashed potatoes and the corn, they take up maybe one-third of this mix. And the seasoned beef is probably two-thirds. And it's a nice pepper, nice salty kind of seasoning going on with the beef. Um, it's not fatty. It's mostly meat in the, in the beef mix itself. The mashed potatoes, like I say, they're very buttery, um, real tasty. Uh, can't really tell the difference between, like, a whipped mashed potato and maybe like an instant mashed potato on this. The corn, it's nice frozen corn, so it's fresh before they froze it. If you're wondering why I'm not taking a bite of this, is because uh, when I did have this, that corn fucked me up. I was violently ill for days after eating this. It was so good. And I would say that this recipe, like when I make shepherd's pie at home, this tastes exactly like mine, with the only difference being the absence of uh, carrots. I put like diced carrots in mine sometimes peas, and um, a real rich, rich beef gravy. But the beef tasted like mine, the mashed potatoes tasted like mine, and I don't use instant potatoes, and I do use the frozen corn. 
As far as the beef's concerned, I know in like a regular shepherd's pie, that's normally like lamb or um, some kind of a chipped beef. I, I'm not down with using those in my recipe. I like using the ground beef, always have. But don't let the corn thing scare you. That's just uh, that's a trigger thing for me. We were testing food at the time, and um, I tried corn. We were doing corn. Uh, now we're like testing tomatoes with me. But uh, to see what triggers my illness, we tried corn. And uh, yeah, turns out this kind of corn is not good for me. But I was okay with like corn products that were like, like pulverized down into like masa. That stuff I could still do. But like whole corn that still has like a, a visible husk like this, no. But it's different with everybody that's gone through diverticulitis. Uh, some people can eat this no problem whatsoever. It's something else that triggers them. All that being said though, I would give this a solid 5 out of 5. Pound in the frozen food aisle looking for shepherd's pie. I don't know why you would be, but hey, if that's what you do and you just want like a single serving, you don't want like uh, a 9 by 11 or 9 by 12 casserole kicking around in your fridge afterwards, bam, right here, Blake's has got you covered. Give this one a go. I'm Mr. Dirtis, GTM Shit Fit. You can buy knuckleheads, shirts, and hoodies down in the description. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the real Mr. Dirty. And as always, get out of here, go have a rotten day.